Hey guys, this is Gorax. Today will be a quick guide of how to prepare, what to do and where to spend uh, star sigils uh, when it comes to dragon invasion. This is a guide uh, directed to new players so you know how to prepare ahead of time and uh, what to do when the dragon invasion opens. The dragon invasion opens 30 days from the creation of the server. We are at day 23rd at the moment, so at day uh, 30 we'll get Dragon Invasion. Okay, so let's move to uh, the Dragon Invasion footage that I recorded, and I'll do a quick voiceover over it, and we'll this, and I'll uh, go step by step of what I'm doing and what you should be doing. So this is the main screen of Dragon Invasion. Uh, when the Dragon Invasion opens on a new server, it is going to be uh, only uh, the, dra the other Drake will be only level one. It is level three on my main uh, server. In the left corner, we got Hotspot Heroes, and uh, these heroes will guarantee you an extra fifty percent damage done at the end of the fight. So if you do two million, you'll get three million in total, and this is why it's wise to use the hotspot heroes. However, sometimes the hotspot hotspot heroes are not the uh, ones that will make your units do a lot of damage. As you can see in the hotspot that I've done uh, on my uh, main server, I had both Solomir and Gal, which is a good thing because in this video I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, what you should be doing, how you should be preparing, and you will need to prepare both of these heroes depending on what, what units you got. Um, so let's continue. So I've done like a quick overview of the heroes here. Yeah, so Galo, uh, he boosts your marksman and uh, Solmer. So two different strategies. With Galo, you want to buff your units that deal percentage damage like giant. And with Solmer, you want to cast as many spells as possible. So first, I'll go with Galo. Uh, this is the formation I'm using with uh, Galo. The reason for that is... Uh, I wonder if I'm going to go through quickly with units. Okay, so I'm going to change Water Elemental for uh, uh, Archmage to boost my Titan damage. Okay, so let's rewind a little bit. Okay, so the reason I'm using these units is uh, I don't I don't really need a tank here. I'm using um, Walking Dead for his percentage damage. However, it's not working, and I'll show you guys that later on. So, uh, yeah, so you should be if you're starting on a new server, you should be uh, getting gallo shots now from. Uh, duel of the champions you should get him to three four stars preferably uh, the reason for that is he will be very good in your pve content to come so if you are if you got paid heroes like sandro astral or whatever you you want to also uh, get galu to at least three at least two three stars before uh, the dragon invasion happens and the reason for that is he is using frenzy skill which is one of the best skills let's go quickly through his skills first okay so the main reason we are using gallo is because of frenzy frenzy is the strongest buff in the game it sacrificed 30 percent of hp of friendly units within a large range but doesn't cause any fatal damage making the attack speed increased by 500 percent plus 50 depending on the level of the skill and lasting 10 seconds okay so this is your main source of uh damage basically it's gonna boost giant tremendously and galo doesn't work without a giant you want giant and you want to keep buffing giant so if you don't have giant you will go for a second option which is solmer and i'm gonna explain him later but let's assume you got giant um you want to do precision on your giant before you do frenzy because uh, it lasts almost the same time so uh you want both of them at the same time, so you need uh, 51 mana for that, okay? And if you got Gale to foster, that's for people who are actually advanced when it comes to the game. So later on uh, in the game, you want to mark like Slay Slayer or Murph, depending on the level of it. 
and why you want Gallo at three star is because it increase critical hit range for, for all you all range units by 200 that is a passive bonus for all your units even if you don't use um Gallo but the reason for that is also because he uh, buffs uh, marksmen and sharpshooters which is really good in PvE content later in the game so you want to invest in Gallo get him to foster as soon as possible and his shots are rather rather cheap Okay, let's move to the footage of the Dragon Invasion. The units I'm using here are, are rather critical to the build. Well, only a couple of them are really critical, other are optional. So the critical ones is Giant. You will spam spells on the Giant. Giant that does a percentage damage that is really good against Dragon Azure. Also, he does a true damage. So this is why we are using him. Only units that do true damage, like Giant and Devil, will be able to do a significant damage to the boss. Okay, I'm using Angel for a uh, Resurrection and also um, HP re Regen. I'm using Devil for the person uh, for the true damage that he does. I'm using um, Walking Dead for the person to damage, but we've been told that the person to damage doesn't work on the Dragon Invasion boss, and it is true. I'll show you in this video that it's not working. I'm using Err Elemental for the damage, he's probably the best damage dealer outside of that, but he is not doing the true damage, so he will do uh, some other damage, but all of these units can be easily obtained in the game, except for Genie, which you need to purchase, but you won't be able to have Genie for the in the first Dragon Invasion, but if you're patient, you'll probably unlock Genie through Guild Adventure in about two three months i'm using genie just for the hp uh regen on uh, my units to keep him alive because with gallo the boss will be critting a lot and will be getting crit a lot and you will be getting a lot of damage so you need to keep your giant alive i'm using um monks to heal my units and also i uh, reduce the cooldown on my spells and in here I was using ice elemental however I'm gonna change ice elemental to arc mage to boost the giant so all these units except for giant and uh, giant and devil are optional you can uh, mix and match them because uh, it doesn't really matter uh, so let's go and see uh, the damage I'm doing don't worry about the uh, siege machines you guys won't be uh, having them until level 90 so it's a couple months from now so what I'm gonna do here with Gal bear in mind I'm nowhere close to what other guys are doing the other guys got uh, much more damage done to this dragon than I do however what I'm gonna show you in this video is just basically what you should be doing when you start and then try to get better as you can see I'm very lazy and I do it at double speed everyone else is doing it on a single speed so my timing might be a little off and uh, as you can see I'm waiting with my spells to put them at the same time so Giant is getting the, the the biggest boost possible at the same time and you just want to buff Giant and what you also see I'm doing is I'm spamming spells on the boss the damage spells you want that you want to do that as well because uh, it's always an extra damage and as you can see when my Giant is low on HP I'm uh, buffing my uh, genies so they can heal uh, him uh, with, he, with their magic awakening this is the reason I'm using Gen Genius here. And as you can see, I'm at 3 million power now, and that's not including the uh, the hotspot. Okay, so this is what happens. So the boss kills everyone at 30 seconds. The fight stops when the timer gets to 30 seconds. And as you can see, I've done 3 million power. However, thanks to the hotspot, I've done 4.8 million. So if I didn't did three fights with that, I will get to... Almost 14 million damage, which will on my server get me rank 2. Only Bendova is doing more damage than me. And the moment, but due to this video and me trying to guide you guys, I'm gonna change to uh, Solmer now. So my damage will be le lower, because Solmer does lower damage than Gallo with Giant. However, it is still going to be uh, quite a big damage. So with uh, Solmer, you want to take units that boost your mana. Okay, so 
as I, as I as I'm gonna show you here I will change this aura to uh, the one that deals per percentage damage however I'll find out that it's not working on the boss that the damage from uh, walking dead will be a uh, minimum so okay so basically I'm running the same comp here however few things are worth to note and I think I'm gonna do them here no not yet okay because I'm gonna do two fights of astral so on the second fight of astral I'll go and explain uh, what I'm doing but let's just uh, rewind a little bit so the reason I'm using these units for astral is ice elemental boosts your uh, mana regen monks reduce your cooldown of the spells and air elemental reduce enemies uh, Air magic resistance. Uh, Archmage regenerates mana for you whenever you cast an air spell, so you want as much mana as possible to spam the spells. And this is variant one of this. Uh, you still want giant and devil. If you don't have them, don't worry, you will do less damage. However, you'll be uh, still able to be on top of your rankings uh, if the guys are not using giant and devil. See, with Solmer. You don't need any tank, you just need basically Devil, and I think I'm gonna show it in a second variant. I'm, if, I'm not sure though, I don't remember, I recorded that video a couple days ago, but I never had the time to actually uh, make a video about it. So, last with Gelo, we've done about 3 million, we won't be able to do it with Solmer, because my Solmer is 4 stars, and apparently 4 star Solmer does less damage than uh, 3 star Solmer, so that's it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm spamming spells. You want to spam the spells on the dragon. Okay, and this is very simple. This is for a la Solmer is basically for lazy guys like me. So what I, what I usually do is uh, I just auto it. I just uh, put it on auto and the Solmer fights itself. And he still does quite a lot of damage. And I end up with in top 5. So that's for when I actually have to go to work because the Dragon Invasion opens at 12 and uh, this is the time I need to get uh, ready for work so uh, I just do it with Solmer to get it over with because once at work I don't really have time. So this is first variant. In the second variant uh, it's a little different. You will use uh, different units. So as you can see it's only a 500,000 uh, uh, damage difference. And it's much easier, you don't need to worry about your units surviving. Okay. So a third option for you guys is, uh, I believe I'll change a couple units here. Yep, so I don't need a tank, I don't need Walking Dead. I could. Uh, I can easily replace him with uh, something else. Let's see what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I'm going to show you the variant with uh, Phoenix. So you want Phoenix here. To make sure he's actually um, so when the when the timer gets to 30 seconds the boss kills all your units and Phoenix thanks to Phoenix passive he revives so you gain a couple extra seconds which you can use to spam at least one two more spells which is great so let's see what else you what else you could add is uh, you could add rock here instead of archmage or even instead of angel to even boost your damage uh, to another level as well because uh, rock uh, increases the spell damage that the enemy unit uh, receives and as you can see I'm gonna do it on auto this time around so my wind wall will be on my uh, tank units not on my giant so that means my giant will do a little less damage than he should. But this is the easiest uh, way uh, when it comes to Dragon Invasion. You don't need to worry about your units dying when you're using Solmer. As you can see, he barely does any damage. The problem with Gallo is once you buff Titan with crit, he is going to crit quite a lot. And whenever the Dragon gets a crit, he will do this uh, Blizzard. And that is going to kill your units sometimes. But this is the option I prefer because... Uh, it saves me a lot of time in real real life. I just uh, basically uh, auto play it, and as you can see, I'm still doing quite a lot of damage. Obviously, when you will uh, start, you will be against a dragon uh, of level one, and your damage will be uh, less than mine because the damage increases when the dragon level increases as well.
Okay, so a little bit less damage than before, even a little bit more, I can't remember. So I'm at 12 million usually. This uh, allows me to be in top three, depending on the other users. And here we got another video of me uh, fighting Dragon Invasion. This was recorded yesterday. And uh, here I'm going to show you guys uh, that you can do Dragon Invasion without any tanks. So as I said before, I'm going to add Rock here. And my devil will be the tank. And none of my units will die. And this time around, Solmer is not a hotspot here. So his uh, total damage will be lower, however, you'll see uh, how much damage you can basically do, it's still quite a lot of damage. And um, I'm gonna play it in slow motion, obviously I'm doing wrong with a skill, so you should be starting with the lower skills, then do your chain lightning, because you want to boost chain lightning damage, so be bear that in mind. Okay, so I'll be just spamming the skills. Uh, just quickly rewind it by a couple seconds. Okay, as you can see, none of my units is actually dying, so all of my units are dead. I can still spam at least one spell and the Phoenix dies. My rock is first, so 2.7 million without a hotspot, and rock is first. However, this is what you should be seeing is a uh, true damage. This is the only thing that counts in the boss. As you can see, giant, giant deals a lot of damage. Okay, so I believe the next one will be a uh, Gale. This time around, I'll use a uh, Bone Dragon. So as you can see, you can tweak and uh, match, mix and match your units, whatever works best for you. However, keep in mind that you will need Giant and Devil to be competitive in a uh, Dragon Invasion. So uh, this is it for the footage. Futi futi Let's move to where you should be spending your uh, artifact sigils on. So I've been asked to uh, recommend where you guys should be spending your sigils at. Um, basically, what what they do is see when you uh, upgrade your artifact, it's gonna boost the artifact attributes. So the attributes of this artifact are hero attack. In unit attack okay so you need to choose what you really want for example i think one of the best is um acts of ferocity artifacts because they boost your uh, attack a hero attack po hero power attack power and a unit attack they boost the most stats so you should be uh, upgrading them first however keep in mind you can only upgrade uh artifacts up to a certain level so uh if my artifact is level 7 I can upgrade him to more than one star it has to be at a star so what you should be doing is you should be uh, upgrading this artifact first to uh, four or five stars depending on the level oh uh, yeah I just recently get it from level uh, 9 to 14 because uh, I've maxed out the vampire on uh, tokens on the soul stone tokens and i can actually buy more heaven cast on but what i've been doing so far is focusing on the green artifacts uh, they're quite easy to uh, upgrade they don't require a lot of the essence as you can see it's only uh, 30 per 10 levels so it's easily uh, upgradable However, what I wanted to do first is to get the 20 artifact, twenty level artifacts to 5 stars first to max them out. And this is what I've done here because I uh, see the blue artifacts, they boost my uh, unit health by 21% and unit attack by 21%. So this is what you want to look for. You want to look for the artifacts that boost your uh, units quite significantly, just like this, unit health and unit health, unit attack and unit attack. So this is the second thing I'm gonna boost now after I get uh, this done. I'm a mean maxer, so I want to uh, get everything to five star before I move to another one. So how does it work? So basically you, pre you upgrade it 10 times, you just keep pressing here on the bottom so it goes faster. Okay, and all, when, once you get to next, uh, Upgrade level, it boosts your stats by a couple percent, and when it goes to, another, to a new uh, star, it boosts your uh, attributes even further. This is what we want to do. 
And so start with whatever is your highest level artifact and upgrade it first, which will be which on a new server will be probably these two. So this is what I'm doing. As you can see, I've been playing for six months and uh, I barely I only have one artifact maxed out on five stars. So it's going to take you a lot, a lot of time, guys. Keep bearing that in mind. And I'm also always rank one, two, three on my server. Um, I believe this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little guide. Uh, it was supposed to be quicker. However, uh, I've been talking quite a lot. So uh, yeah. So this is for the new guys. Uh, if you if you want to prepare, make sure you buy uh, you buy your gallery shots from uh, that shop here. They are quite easy to get, and also try to get your soul mirror to three stars. So you can benefit the great, you can benefit from the hero that Solmer is and make your dragon invasion really easy. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please subscribe. Uh, so this is the dragon invasion video that I was talking about. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is on top of my daily blog, I'll I'll do a dragon mutare uh, champion uh, hero spotlight that will. Uh, include uh, footage of a very high-end Dragon Mutare that you can use for both PvE content and PvP. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye!